Liz, this is so cool for me, being able to take you into here with the 69 exhibit. This whole Mets Hall of Fame is great. Oh wait, is that your scorecard? Yeah, that's from the ninth that Seaver pitched this near perfect game. There's that stinking Jimmy Qualls who got the only hit with one out of the ninth inning. Boy, that was hard to take, but what a night that was. And look at this. This is incredible. This is a holiday card that Casey Stengel sent to Joe Pignatano before the 1969 season. But I don't know, that name probably doesn't mean anything to you, right? Of course Joe? it does. He was one of the coaches on the 1969 Mets. He's also an original Met, and he was part of that Brooklyn Dodgers World Championship team in uh, 1959. Really? I'm impressed. Yeah. This is a shocker. All right, let's see what else you know here, because this is all so close to my heart. Oh man, as is this guy, one of my all-time favorites. Greatest shortstop the Mets ever had. He managed them. It's Buddy, Buddy Harrelson's cap. Yes, of course, Buddy Harrelson, most known for his scuffle with Pete Rose, but actually he was a tremendous defender. Yes, he was. Yes, only one gold glove, but because of his defensive play, he was a perennial MVP candidate. He really, you know, was the backbone of those Mets infields. Uh, yeah, well, I'm pretty impressed. This is very impressive. The oh, I'm sorry, did you say Innes? Like, Jeff Innes, perhaps? No. As in the submarine reliever from the late 80s, early 90s? Did you know he is the only major leaguer to appear in 60 games and not record a win or a save? I mean, I'm in was a workhorse. Where are you getting all this obscure stuff from? Boy, Liz, I gotta tell you, I'm pretty impressed. You know more than Nomo. I- Nomo! I loved him as a kid. Oh, no. Deo Nomo. I loved his windup. Do you remember when he was coming over from Japan? I mean, the stories were wild. It was just a crazy time. Did you know that the first game he won was against the Mets and then later went on to become a Met and were number 16, the same as fellow Rookie of the Year that you may or may not have heard of. Um, I believe his name is Doc Gooden. Ah, uh, Doc Gooden. I mean, listen, I know I was young, but I still did get to watch him pitch a little bit. I mean, still holds the Mets rookie record for wins at 17, also 14 consecutive wins, which is another team record. He was just so dominant. And I mean, every time that I just think about how lucky I was for even a little bit to get to watch Doc pitch, I just wonder what it would have been like to see Tom Terrific, you know? So what are you, now you're going to start reeling off all of Tom Seaver's records? I wasn't going to, but I mean, I could. Uh, most wins, no, no, most no, losses, no, no. most career strikeouts, most games with 10 plus strikeouts, most games pitched as a righty, most career starts, most complete games in a season, most complete games as a rookie, most career shutouts, most innings pitched, most innings in a single season, most wins in a season, and most consecutive wins over multiple seasons. I thought you said that Gooden had the record with 14 straight wins. Uh, yes, that is correct. He does over a single season. Seavers was over two seasons. It started on August 9th, 1969, ended on May 6th, 1970. Les, that's surprising. Jeez, you think you know your own kid. So what are you going to do now? Next you're going to tell me you're a college football fan. Nope, do not like college football, but did you know that Tim Tebow is not the only Met who's ever won a national championship? DJ Dozier did it at Penn State, and actually Rico Brania had signed a letter of intent to play quarterback at Clemson. There are a lot of Mets who have ties to college hey. football. I knew Rico. I don't remember him ever telling me anything about a letter of intent to play at Clemson. Howie, actually, oh. she's right. No national championship, but it wasn't going to be a quarterback at Clemson. Rico, I don't see him for 15 years. He's killing me. <laughs> All right, look, this was great in more ways than I can imagine. I'm glad I had the chance to take you here, but that's it. I've got to go to work. Game time. Put it in the books. Get it? Because, like, it's over? That's the end? No?